Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to CCXRC. Today on the bench, we're going to be looking at the Furitech Hiroyama 124th scale titanium kit. Now, I've already built mine up because I wanted to take it out and run it and see how it performed so I could give you guys a little bit better idea of what I think of it. So, um, we've been out, we've been playing with it and having a blast. This is the smoothest driving fast uh, 124 scale that I have driven. I was very impressed with it um, and how it handled, especially these spring shocks on here. You thought it'd, I thought it'd be a whole lot bouncier than it is, but they really soak up everything. Uh, we were jumping it, uh, running it through snow, and it was just soaking everything up. It jumped awesome too. So it's quick, it's smooth. Uh, the steering on it was awesome. That may be in part to their new FureTech Galaxy uh, servo that they've got up here with uh, metal gears in it. Um, this thing we'll take a look at in a little bit. Very cool. Um, but yeah, overall this thing is, is really nice. It's titanium and the welds on this for being so small I think are actually quite impressive. So um, kudos to whoever was uh, responsible for doing all the welds on this. Pretty, pretty impressive if you ask me. So um, the other thing is it's got the new mini Rocket Man transmission inside of there. Um, which is uh, tucked in there looking nice and good. And then it also has the, um, you're able to see the, the pinion and all that from this motor. It's a Greyhound brushless motor in runner. And so very cool. I went ahead and put their Ultimate ESC in there. You can see it back there, the Lizard Ultimate. Tucks in there real nice. The metal case, waterproofness. Um, and it sits right on this little tray that they've got down here. Uh, in the chassis so we can kind of mount some electronic zoom right there on the side rails of it It tucks in there so nice. You can see right there how nicely that just sets in there. I've got my I'm running a Avatar by FureTech their receiver and so it just kind of sets in there I've just got a little sticky tape holding it in place and it's just kind of stuck in there nice like that um, but yeah, this thing is very very fun to drive and the portal axles on it just give it that much more ground clearance for going over things as you're going through. It actually is scale for a lot of these rock bouncers, so I think that's pretty cool. One of the things I should mention too is it is an open diff, which is great for this type of a vehicle and for um, speed and being able to maneuver um, corners without rolling too much. And uh, the gearing in them is quick, so it's very, very fast. Got these aluminum links up front. They've got aluminum trailing arms on this that they make, FureTech makes, which are great for mounting shocks on it. There's multiple different threaded holes in there that you can mount your, your uh, shocks to or sway bars, whatever you want to mount in there. Uh, it has a little slot down here for batteries on the bottom. The only problem I found with it was I couldn't, being in there so tight, I couldn't really tighten down the battery and it felt like it was sliding onto the drive shafts and that kind of worried me a little bit. So I strapped it to the top. It's not very heavy, doesn't really, um, and that way it can't slide too far forward because it hits these. Uh, it, I feel like if they just put a little bump off of the front of this, weld it up to keep the battery from sliding forward would be one other cool thing that they could do um, off of the front of this, just have a little um, I don't know, something like this, but that would catch the battery so it couldn't slide onto the drive shafts. But they thought of a lot, and that's, you know, they keep going through iterations of these, and they're awesome. They have a crawler version of this they call the Gold Digger, and it's running more of the Komodo setup, um, and it's the gold frame. Looks really awesome. A um, few different features to that one. We don't have that one here to test, uh, but... We're giving this one a test, and at speed, it's a it's a total blast. So um, they do have, like I was saying, another option of this thing that is going to be a ready-to-run version, almost ready to run. It does not have wheels and tires, but it does have a receiver, waterproof, and radio, um, and that's going to be $100 more for that version. Uh, so this one's $269. The almost ready to run is $369, and... Um, but, I mean, by the time if you put a lizard on yours, you're at that price. So you're almost getting the uh, receiver and radio for free if you want to think about it that way. Uh, but you could put in a different 
you know, ESC if you want and go that route. So this Galaxy Servo can actually take the eight volts that you can get with the BEC on these Ultimates, which is pretty cool. It can take that extra power. It does 63 ounce inches of torque at that um, 8.4 volts and uh, it's 0 0.10 seconds at that. At 7.4 volts, you're looking at 0 0.11 seconds and um, 58 ounce inches of torque. So very good servo that they've included in here. Metal gears, um, titanium gears even. So they definitely uh, have stepped it up with the, uh, the parts that they're including with this. You know, so much titanium, aluminum, and uh, internally in these axles, these axles, people are gonna say, those are the FMS portal axles. Yes, very, very much so, and they are actually running the metal gears in them. So that's a cool feature of these axles. They're not gonna have those plastic ones that are gonna get all burned up. So um, it's a, a nice feature that they've done for this, and uh, it's gonna allow you to put that power to it and have a blast like we did. The Greyhound motor that they have in here that they're running is the 7500 kV um, speed in it. Again, this is meant to go fast and they've set it up that way. It's quick. I've run it on 2S. Um, they said on 3S, it's crazy. I don't know how well they, the axles will handle the 3S. Uh, so I just kept it at 2S because it was the perfect speed to have control and have a lot of fun. And so that's kind of where we lived with it. But I think you guys, if you're into this kind of thing, I mean, this for a rock bouncer in this scale, it's probably right up there at the top of with what you can get so anyway thanks for tuning in as always guys have fun our seeing we'll catch you next time